Hello, it's Nan. Um, a few days ago, I coffee dyed some paper and some index cards and music paper. And I opened up my junk journal and I wanted to make something different. I didn't want it to be the same thing. I thought side pocket, tuck spot, corner pocket, um, tuck spot on the top, and I got this idea where I could create something that would have a little bit of everything, but it would be one thing pasted onto the onto the daily. So this is it. So I'm going to recreate that on another page in my second insert, which would be right here. So I'll put that aside while I start creating the pages so I have my music paper, regular uh, copy paper, index card. I might use a library card because that's the one I used in the other one, and a Rolodex card. Simple. I didn't break my head over this one. I just um, tore things with my hands and anything else I could get a hold of. So what I did was I folded this portion of the music paper, measured it to my page so that at least in, in length I can get the right size. Took my scissors at this point and just cut across the top of the page. I'm hoping I cut that straight. I think I did. And then I proceeded to cut this portion off the music paper because what I'm going to do is it's not actually a side pocket but it's a side pocket where you slip your paper through this side so and then what I did was I glued this page down, but of course, first adding some Distress Ink to the edges of my paper, so they have that definition, and so they pop out on the page, each individual paper. And what I did was I glue that down first. I will use my tacky tape for this. So what I'm doing is I'm only going to glue the top portion of the page and the bottom portion. And I'm going to let the edge of the paper stick out. Then next, what I did was that same piece that was left over. That is the portion that's actually going to become... Let me just double check that to make sure I have that right. Yes, that's the portion that is going to become the belly band on the page. So I went ahead and also added some Distress Ink on that. And... In making this, I chose the music paper. You can choose whatever paper you want. So now in order to make this here a tuck spot, I have to glue down this edge here and the bottom portion. So that will be a tuck spot on the belly band when I put the belly band on. It's simple, but it's different. You have all these different elements on the same page. So here, it is the belly band, so I'm also only going to be gluing the edges on this side, not on the bottom, because I want the paper to slip through there. So I will be and glue on this side, and glue on this side. 
and the belly band, I guess you can put it wherever you'd like. I'm going to attach it here. I like Grungy more than any type of books that I create for my, as my personal preference. So most of my, my uh, personal journals will have more uh, coffee dyed papers than your regular papers. Okay, so I'm going to take my paper and of course it's folded and I think I'm going to have to do that last because this page has to go into the book first. Let's find my page. This will have to lay flat on here so that when you slide your paper underneath, the paper of course is going to stop here, but I wanted to add some decor uh, a few little decorations to the page before I actually put that last page in. So next I am going to put my Rolodex card down, which will become a pocket tuck spot. And I did forget to put a little bit of this on there, so I can just go ahead and do that. It won't be affected by the glue that I've already placed on the, on the back of it. So this will go right here. You can move it over this way if you'd like, over that side. And actually, this time, I did it upside down. But like I say, those are those little happy accidents that really do not affect what you're creating. And then from there, I did use a library card in there, but maybe this time I think I'm going to add an index card. I did really not measure anything, and I did not use my cutting board for this. Will it fit? I think I'm going to cut it just a little more. And then there's the card that will go in there. I'm going to bring it down just a little so that we can see the paper that we're putting in here and the little tuck paper we're going to add over in that tuck spot. So this one will go there. I hope you're all doing well. I've been hearing a lot of people getting sick lately. Posting that they're catching COVID and it's it's not easy. Okay, that one fits there, and then I can use this in the back tuck spot, but I find that it's a little too small. I want it to come up a little more, so that's where the excess of this paper is going to come in. So I will be gluing this down now. See how it looks on the paper. Just one of those things where you're sitting in your in your spaces or in your craft rooms, and you just want to try something different from the norm. And this is what it's going to look like once it's down. I really liked it a lot. Hope you do as well, and I hope I'm in frame. Okay, there's one. Yeah, my paper's gonna slide in the back, so I am going to need to. I could fold it in three if I chose to, which at this point, I think it is exactly what I'm going to do. Not what I do with the other one, but it gives me more room to play with when I'm when I'm writing. So I will measure this to here. 
and cut across. If you choose to tear across, you can tear across and make it more, even more grungy. So there's the paper in the back of that. And as a matter of fact, I do have one paper and an extra one in the back. So this one is going to be the one that goes down my belly band. And then in the back, this is a piece of paper that I got from a Daphne's diary that already had the lines on it. And I, and I wanted to put that to good use, so I'm going to measure that also. And it's not going to touch the end, so because I'm going to add something there on top of the belly band. I'm going to fold it over and just roughly cut. This one should fit in here, nice and easy. And there you go, I put the one in the belly band. There's your side pocket. This is the one that's gonna go down your belly band. And this I did not cut straight, so I'm going to make that a little straighter. So now, with this paper, with this card, I am going to, I have some chenille that I got from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to use a piece of that on the side here. I've never used this before. Well, this is my second time using it. Before this, I've never used, I've never used this, so I'm not even sure what it, what it's for. But they had an on clearance, so for me, anything is game. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add that here. Give it a soft, subtle, subtle look. And then I also took some of the chenille and I actually added it. Added it here to give it sort of a little tab. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. paper what I did was I just put a little bit on the side and folded it over probably should be a darker color but I wanted this to be neutral so just lay half on there then half on this side Bring it down, hold it for a sec, it'll stay there. The more I work with that tacky glue, the more I like it. Make sure that it's all glued down, all the edges are nice and tucked in. And I also 
Here is a little bit of some distressing. And that's going to go in here. I love it. I have so much, so much writing space. I can put anything I want there. So now I need to make is a little something long that I can tuck in there, which will I, I'll probably use it to write stats on it about the weather, or I wanted it to come out of that there. Have a little tuck spot. So it's going to fit perfect if I can get it in there, right in there, see? And then I can also add a small tab to that paper. Simple, these are simple, simple ideas, but when you look at the, the what you've created, and you feel good about what you've created, and it's aesthetic when you're looking at it, it works. More distress ink. What will we do without this distress ink? I mean, I'm sure there's other things you can use, but this stuff is heaven for all of us. Okay, this one will go in here. So we have the card, we have the paper here. We have our slip pocket here, side pocket, slip pocket, tuck spot. And then my folded paper will go behind the belly band. And you can pretty much decorate it as you wish. Stamps, stickers, Add whatever you want to it. So I'm going to show you how mine came out on this side. I did add stamping, which was this one that I thrifted. I don't know who it is. It just says copyright Judith 21. So I stamped on there. I stamped on the little library card. Also on the Rolodex and colored it in with some Azteca thin line Fine point pens, and here is my little paper in that tuck spot, and the one in the back, left to right, whatever I want to write. And there it is. One, two, three, four different things in one sheet. Have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.